Broadcasting live worldwide. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Have Faith, Let It Begin on this Friday, April 21st, 2023. Yep, I am feeling a lot better. Um, I am in the process of uh, going to take uh, Noah for a follow-up doctor's appointment today um, with my wife. And um, yeah, let me give you some updates about everything that transpired now that I'm more awake and alert to tell you what happened with this craziness that took place between Wednesday and Thursday. Yeah, a lot to talk about. Have faith, let it begin. Friday edition starts right now. Welcome to Have Faith. Let it begin. Here's your host, Angel Santana. Hey, Ariel, can you say... Have faith. Again. Let it begin. Again. Say have faith. Again. Let it begin. No. 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 no? Okay. Hi, Noah. Noah. Oh, Noah. <laughs> Jesus. Happy birthday, Noah. Amazing. Noah. Have faith. Let it begin. When it starts, right now. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Friday edition of Have Faith, Let It Begin. I have got a lot of shout-outs to do. The Christian Bookstore on 211, thank you so much for your constant support. We love having you listen in. Also, new shout-outs to uh, At Your Service. They took care of my boiler. And also to Rail. That's right, Rail Hardware. I think it's called Hardware. If I got it wrong, I'm sorry. It's in New Windsor. Awesome place as well. Great shout-outs across the board. I'll continue to shoot them out uh, all next week. Guys, let me tell you, it has been a whirlwind. So here's what happened. Tuesday night, Tuesday night, I forgot about Tuesday night. Tuesday night, I went to the bank, as you all know. I had that old issue with the ATM. You know that episode. It aired on Wednesday. Wednesday, um, <laughs> Wednesday, you know, the oil man came. Everything was great. And I decided, you know what I'm going to do? They got done for fairly early. I'm going to go and mow the lawn. So I, you know, I started to mow the lawn. Everything is great. No problems. I'm just about maybe like, I don't know. I just started 10, 15 minutes and I hear crank, crank, plop, boom, ouch. That's right. Don't ask me to do that again. But anyway, the leash from my dog was left on the ground. That buckle that secures the leash snapped off after going underneath the blade, ricocheted and hit me directly. Now, originally, I had said that it ricocheted off of the shed. That's not the case. It ricocheted and hit me. It ricocheted off the blade and hit me. Dead square on my ankle. It was my left ankle on the inner part of my leg. Um, It swelled up, I would say, about the size of a golf ball. And I called my good friend Tony, sent her a picture. She says, you got to get seen. And I took her advice. We went. Uh, the ER had like a five hour wait. We ended up going to Middletown Medical. Great shout outs to them. Awesome job. I got to be honest. Phenomenal. They had me in and out in about an hour and a half. And uh, after x-rays, determined that there was no fracture whatsoever, just heavy bruising. It was so bad though, the pain that I could put, I could put no weight on it. Um, it was very difficult to walk. Um, thanks to my wife took care of me, of course. Um, and of course, I mean, big shout outs to Nick for stepping up and, and covering me as well. Two days in a row. I thank you, Nick. Um, just so much has happened. And, you know, my mom said that said it best. She says, you know, you know, sometimes things happen in a really funky way. And at the end of the day, your body needed to rest and you weren't going to rest. So they forced you to rest. I'll take it. I mean, it is what it is. It was painful, though. Um, It was brutal. Just brutal. I want to thank Carol for her beautiful words uh, she sent to me. Also, I want to thank um, Joanne. Always a pleasure to be your neighbor and a good friend. She always knows how to, you know, make me feel well as well. So, you know, listen, I'm better. Um, Things happen. And uh, and, and throughout it all, I still make jokes. You know, what are you going to do? It could have been worse. Thank God it hit me and not my children who were fairly far away. But still, you just never know. Um, so that's that's really what happened. It was crazy. I'm still waiting on uh, the update on the $2,100 ATM. The claim is still uh, pending. Um, it, it's The whole thing is just crazy. And um, now 
uh, the dog had to be taken to the vet. Cody had to go to the vet because he was losing hair all of a sudden. So I just took care of that as well. And uh, it just doesn't stop. It really doesn't stop. And that's really the story, guys. That's all of it right there. So I want to thank each and every one of you for showing your concerns. And um, I wanted to update you on everything that was going on. I should be back to work officially on Saturday. And um, yeah, I'm ready and raring to go. So I just wanted to tell you guys, I love you guys. I want to thank you again. And uh, let's close out with a prayer. Let's do that. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for all that you've given us. We want to thank you for your constant support. We want to thank you for your love and generosity. And Lord, we want to thank you for giving us choices and things that come up that we just can't understand. We really can't explain it, but when they do happen, you know, we just have to understand that it's not done intentional. It's not done to harm us. So, Lord, I just want to thank you for being a part of my life. Thank you for all that you've ever done to, for us. And thank you for con- continuing to be a part of, you know, my family's life and, and taking care of my ankle. And I want to pray for those doctors and nurses that took good care of me. I want to thank uh, my wife and uh, my parents and my aunt for stopping over and my mother-in-law for being there for me and watching over my kids while we went to the urgent care. And lastly, I want to thank each and every one of you the Have Faith community, because without you, um, I don't know what I would have done. So thank you again to Dr. Ian Ellie, to Nick for your words of wisdom. Thanks to Brian for checking on me. Love you guys. And that's where I'll end it. Have a great weekend. May God bless you. May he shine his light upon you and grant each and every single one of you peace on earth. And you know what? Never forget, have faith, let it begin. Thank you for listening to another episode of Half Faith, Let It Begin. That's right, Ariel. We're done with another show. And it's always great to have this show with you, my love. You know, we're going to encourage each and every person to listen to our show every single weekday. That's right. You and I are going to help change the world. Do you think that you can do that for me? Huh? Yeah, you know you can. She does. We want to let you know. and it, Yes, we encourage you to listen to our show each and every weekday. And it's going to be live at 730 Make sure you're subscribed to our show. Make sure you get ready. Fasten those seatbelts because Ariel and I and my family are going to bring you a new topic, a new story each and every day, right? Isn't that right, Ariel? Yeah. And we (laughs) impress. She's smiling at me. Guys, enjoy your day.